return to our beef cows year presently. But first, it's time for... for cows and billy bull. Each of the beef farmers cows must undergo an X Factor audition. The X Factor in this case is selective breeding. Only those cows and bulls who have the right traits or characteristics are allowed to breed. Humans have practiced selective breeding ever since we first domesticated animals. That is how we got so many breeds of dogs from a wolf. Today we use modern knowledge of genetics and technology in selective breeding programs. A beef cow farmer's aim is for his suckle cow mothers to have a fit healthy calf each year and for this calf to grow fast and produce lots of tasty meat. Fast growing calves mean the farmer has to spend less time and money to care for and feed his cattle. This is good for the beef farmer as it means he will make more money. But it can also be good for the long term sustainability and security of food production as it will use less resources to produce each beef cow. To ensure a cow has a calf each year, the farmer must make sure the cow is mated and becomes pregnant again after she has had her calf. Cows are pregnant for nine months, the same as humans. So that the cow calves around the same time each year, she needs to be mated during the summer. This means the bull will often be in a field of cows and calves during the summer. As we mentioned earlier, a farmer carefully selects cows and bulls for breeding. Just like humans, not all cows are the same. Mum! 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 Oh, that's right. What number was she? So, can she count? Well, why do shepherds paint numbers on lambs then? And if sheep cannot read, how do they tell which are their lambs from all these? Don't they all look the same? Are all piglets in a litter the same? What about cattle? Are they all the same? Well the numbers are really for the shepherd so he knows which lambs belong to which you. This gives the you chance to, to really get them to know the smell of her lamb. Now sheep have the most amazing sense of smell. Far, far, far better than our, our sense of smell. They can smell things hundreds of yards away, hundreds of meters away, which we can't. So they, they if you look how they use that, they're, they're licking and, and sniffing their lambs, they're licking them and sniffing them. They're also having some food because they're hungry. But they're just getting to know the exact smell of their own lamb and they will only accept their own lambs. They will not accept another sheep's lambs to come and suckle them and look after them. In fact, although animals of the same type or species look the same to us, they are nearly always different, even if they have the same parents. How fast animals grow is one of the traits or characteristics that animals will differ in although not obviously when looking at them. A beef farmer will use growth rate when selecting which cows he will use for breeding. 
So one of the X factors for cows is growth. How much its weight increases in a day. Just like some of your traits such as weight or height, this cow X factor is controlled by both genes and the environment. In the case of your height and the cow's X factor growth rate, you can have a gene for being tall or growing fast. But if the environment does not allow it, for example provide enough of a balanced diet and remain fit and healthy, you will not reach the tallest height or the calf grow as fast as possible. So, as we have seen, the farmer feeds the cows the best balanced diet he can. And keeps them as fit and healthy as possible, so the environment does not restrict their growth. As you should know from science, the genes for an offspring come from both its mother and its father. So a beef farmer selectively breeds a breeding cow that has these X-Factor genes with a bull that also has X-Factor genes. That way the offspring will be more likely to inherit these X-Factor genes and make beef production better economically and sustainably. This is where the calf's ear tag and ID comes in useful as this will allow the farmer to identify and record a calf's growth rate. Then when he comes to select which cows to use for breeding he will know which have grown the fastest and make good replacements for new breeding stock. Similarly when buying a new bull a farmer will be able to check out the growth rate for bulls for sale. Bulls are given a score called an estimated breeding value or EBV which gives an indication of the bull's X-factor for growth and tastiness of meat amongst other traits. <laughs>